Hi everyone, this is Shariq and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. This is a Lebanese Arabic lesson. As always, I say Lebanese Arabic. It falls under the same category of the Levantine dialect, which is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. Before I begin, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful. Also, you can follow me on Instagram if you want shorter and more fun lessons. Also, before I begin, I want to let you know about the 30 day challenge courses, the 30 day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses, which I I've been running for more than a year now and the next one starts in exactly seven days so you're if you're interested in enrolling in these courses you can find my email under this video so you can get in touch and I can give you all the information necessary for you to enroll in the course if you need a challenge and if you wanted to learn the Arabic language this is your chance so yeah let's begin with today's lesson today's lesson is gonna be two words and from these two words we will be able to uh, see the logic behind the Arabic language and how we can derive words from just two concepts. Instead of saying two words, I'm going to say two concepts. The first one is the word khaytim. Khaytim means ring, just a ring, khaytim. And if you analyze it, it comes from the roots kha, te, and mim. So when we put the roots kha, te, and mim together, the letters kha, te, and mim, we come up with the verb khatam. Khatam in the past tense meet, it means to close, to finish or to complete something. Khatam. And in the present tense it's bihtum. So who we khatam, he completed, he finished or he closed. And who we bihtum, it's in the present tense. Who we khatam, who we bihtum. So khaytim is the ring you put on your hand. Why? Because when you put it on, it marks the end of your life as a single person okay so that's why we call it khaytim so that's kind of you're saying it's the end the end of your life this you, the end of your celibate life okay so that's why the word khaytim and the word to close or to complete or to finish are kind of linked we also have the word khitim khitim is the stamp you put on a paper khitim you see i'm pronouncing it khitim you can pronounce it khitim Khitim. No, actually, it's khitim. So khitim with a khe, and there's a kasra under the khe. Khitim. Khitim is the stamp. Um, where it comes from, I don't know. This is my own analysis, so I don't want to be saying something wrong, but it makes sense to me. Maybe in the old times, you know, when they used to close a letter and there was like something like the hot um, candle, and then they used to stamp it to close a letter. Maybe it comes from there. So, khitim. So, for now, you know that khitim means a stamp. So, we know khitim, we know khitim, and they both come from the roots of the verb khatam bihtum. Now, uh, if you're, you have a wound, okay, uh, you have a scar, and uh, it's starting to heal, okay, in Arabic we say, khatam jirih, khatam jirih, jirih is the actual. Uh, uh, wound or scar so khatam jirih if i healed you know it, you know as if you are saying it closed that's why it's healed so when i say khatam jirih il jirih but i'm pronouncing khatam jirih with a liaison or bihtum in the present tense bihtum jirih it means it heals but you're literally saying kind of your wound closes so now we have khatam uh, which is the stamp we have khatam uh, we have verb khatam bihtum to complete to finish and uh, when your wound heals we say uh, also bihtum uh, jirih now we also have the participle the passive participle which we can use as an adjective maktum or maktume so for example if you're in lebanon you're going to use this sentence a lot memorize it war'a maktume min and al mukhtar Wara means paper. Maktume means stamped. Min and from. You're literally saying from at, which means from. Al Mukhtar. Mukhtar is the mayor of the uh, of your village, of your town. Mukhtar. So Wara Mukhtume Min and Al Mukhtar. Say it with me a bit faster. Wara Mukhtume Min and Al Mukhtar. It's a paper that is stamped by the mayor himself. That's why it's more like a legal paper or a legalized paper. Again, it comes from the same 
uh, root or the family of words. So yeah, let, let's recap. I don't know if I had one more word in my mind. I hope I remember it if I had. Uh, so we have khetim, khetim the ring, khetim the stamp, uh, from the verb khetam bikhtum to complete to finish, and bikhtum uh, jirah your wound heals, and uh, we said khetam is the stamp, and makhtume is stamped, used as an adjective, and the sentence war makhtume min and al makhtar, and I remembered the one that I almost forgot. Uh, we have the expression. Miskil khitem, miskil khitem. Misk is um, the uh, nice fragrance as well. Miskil khitem, and also you know what? By the way, the chewing gum that, that we eat is uh, we call it misk, misk or miske. Some people say. So miskil khitem uh, is um, when do we use it? It's like you're saying saving the best for the last so for example let's say there's a concert okay and some singers sang and they were not like the most biggest stars of the night and then in the end the biggest uh, the biggest singer appears and then everyone's going crazy so the uh, before we introduce the singer that maybe uh, the presenter or something send, says miskil uh, khitam let's say ma uh, whatever uh, the like you know the sweetness of the end okay literally is with the um artist it's the name of a very famous artist a famous artist in Lebanon so that's miskil khitem like you know when the best thing is like you're leaving it to the end miskil uh, khitem I think these are the words related to misk but I also wanted to tell you another category of wor words that come from a synonym of the word khetim. So khetim means ring, as I said. We, had a, we have another word for it, mahbas, mahbas. And mahbas is the actual wedding ring. So khetim can be any ring, but mahbas is a wedding ring. And you know what word it comes from? Mahbas. It comes from the family of words that have a he, uh, be, and sin, which means jail. Which means when you get married, you are jailed. That's it. You are in jail and um, you're not free anymore. So that's why mahbas and habs are somehow related. So habs means jail. Habs. So habs. It has a school, but I'm pronouncing it habs because it's a short syllable word, one syllable word. Habs. So mahbas is also a wedding ring and habs is the jail. And the verb to put in jail. Uh, is habas in the past habas with a fatha and in the present it's bihbus habas bihbus okay uh, and I wanted to say some more one more thing one more thing what was it I left my notes outside I was meant to have my notes in front of me so habas bihbus mahbas Oh, we have another word, mahbase. Mahbase, for example, in Lebanon, there is a place. If you visit Lebanon, it's very, very famous. Mahbasit Marsharbil. Marsharbil is the saint from Lebanon. Mahbasit Marsharbil. You have to go visit it. It's really nice. Why is it called mahbase with the tema Buta? Because it's the place where monks kind of isolate themselves or they, they, they jail themselves. That's why it's called mahbase. So you see, we have mahbas which is the ring that put marks an end to your life and you're not free and, and you are in jail. Mahbas. And we have habas, which is the actual jail. We have the verb habas bihbus. And we also have mahbase, the place where monks isolate themselves. Now, one last interesting thing also related totally to another concept, but also related to the same family of words. It's the, it's the, um, it's the term. الاحتباس الحراري الاحتباس الحراري حراري comes from the word حرارة and حراري with the ye in the end means thermal الحراري kind of like you're saying the thermal and احتباس means not to jail uh, kind of to uh, um, re retain retention احتباس retention so when you say الاحتباس الحراري you're literally saying thermal retention the, the retention 
the thermal literally which means global warming so, so you see these are totally different meanings but coming from the same family of words so let's repeat this mahbas uh, is the ring habs is the jail global warming we also have habas bihbus to put in jail or to jail someone else as a verb and mahbase is where the monks isolate themselves i think that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed it and if you did as i said don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want you can click like on the video or leave a comment or if you have a question leave a comment as well see you soon bye